Hi, welcome to RE, welcome to Humanities. You'll be studying the following subjects at Year 7. We'll be looking and trying to answer the question, what is religion? And looking at these following religions. They're really important that you understand the big six. We take all of this through to Year 8 as we look at thematic study. We look at things like festivals, we look at pilgrimages, and we really try and stretch and challenge you here by looking at philosophy and ethics. For your task this year, we would like you to understand these different symbols, okay? Who do they belong to? What sort of places do they visit to worship? Okay, this is your task. Hello, welcome to Geography. So in year seven, we will be studying the following topics. So we start off local in our Think Local, Act Global, which is where we look at our local actions and how they can have a global impact. Then moving through the year, we go on to our population topic, where we zoom out a little bit into the wider world and we look at where people live and why they live there and how populations are changing. Then we come back home again, so we look at our Whitchurch local study. So we study our local area and what's going on in Whitchurch itself. And then finally, we finish off with weather and climate. So we're zooming out again into that global context. Um, throughout all of this, you will learn some key geographical skills, which we're going to do, use on to year eight, year nine, 10 and 11. So what I'd like you to do is to start off with those geographical skills by filling in your seven continents in your workbook. So when you join us in year seven for history, we start with where do you come from? So we look at the Romans and the Anglo-Saxons. We then move chronologically, so we move in time order and we look at the Battle of Hastings and how that changed Britain. We then move on to medieval England and then finally we finish with the Tudors. What I would like you to do for your, your task in your work booklet is to put your events of British history into time order. So they need to go in chronological order.